Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you guys are all doing well. So in this video, I want to talk about Bitcoin, right? Of course, I want to talk about Bitcoin for the past few days now. Actually, I've just been talking about what's going to happen with Bitcoin in the next few months. And of course, cryptocurrency in general. And I've been telling you guys, right? I've been giving guys little warnings every now and then that yes, Bitcoin will eventually drop even more guys right what we are seeing right now for bitcoin right nineteen thousand dollars eighteen thousand dollars okay this is not the bottom right we know that pretty much for the past um i want to say you know few few months ever since we had that crash ever since um you know june right when we had this dip right here guys and i'm i've been telling you guys as many times right ever since we had this dip back in june right for bitcoin we have pretty much been seeing the price for Bitcoin go between, you know, $18,000 all the way up to maybe, you know, twenty three dollars to $24,000 max, right? That was, in fact, you know, the max price right up here, 24K, and then it dipped eventually again. So what you guys are seeing right now, right? Ever since we had this dip right now, okay, ever since we had this crash right back in June, right? You guys can clearly see, right? We have been seeing Bitcoin hovering between $18,000, like I said, and uh, twenty four thousand dollars, twenty three to twenty four thousand dollars, right? For the past, you know, few months, ever since June to now, right? And yes, guys, some of us right now, okay, aren't fact getting bored. You know, I see the tweets, okay, I see what people aren't fact tweeting about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general. It's sort of getting bored right now because we have been seeing Bitcoin, okay, in between those price targets, like I said, you know, eighteen thousand dollars, you know, to you know, twenty three to twenty four thousand dollars for quite some time now, and we want to see Bitcoin, you know go higher or even lower right we want to see bitcoin maybe go back down you know seventeen thousand dollars we haven't seen that for a while okay i think actually it did in fact go seventeen thousand dollars i'm not sure maybe it didn't so we either want to see bitcoin go lower or higher right so personally guys i want bitcoin to go lower why because i want to buy more i want to accumulate more bitcoin at a cheaper price you know what i mean and it will obviously gives give us you know a bigger opportunity to buy bitcoin you know what i mean at a cheaper price right so personally guys yes i want bitcoin to drop and guess what it's good news for me and hopefully it's good news for you guys right bitcoin will eventually drop okay in the next few months i've been telling guys this many times for the past few days bitcoin will eventually drop okay for the past few days i've been talking about this okay i do in fact see bitcoin dropping back down you know sixteen thousand dollars fifteen thousand dollars twelve thousand dollars maybe even ten thousand dollars and maybe even lower maybe very unlikely but maybe okay i'm not saying that this is gonna 100 happen you know for bitcoin to hit 10k first of all that's very unlikely i just want to put it out there it's very unlikely for bitcoin to drop you know, back down all the way to $10,000, which is like all the way down here, right? Just below the support level, okay? So I'm telling you guys right now, okay? We will, we will, it's just very unlikely, but at this point, it's very, it's very, you know, possible. You know what I mean? At this point, anything can happen, guys, right? Literally, you know, almost a year ago, right? Last November, Bitcoin was in fact at about $68,000, almost 70K, right? We didn't quite hit 70K yet, but it was in fact at 60K, so almost there, right? We almost hit 70K. And literally, okay, pretty much almost a year later, right, we are now at $19,000. You guys have to understand, right, Bitcoin has been dropping, you know what I mean? It, it literally has been dropping for the past, you know, a few weeks, guys, right? If I zoom out here, you guys can clearly see, right, and I showed you guys this many times, right, this falling wedge that we had for Bitcoin from its previous all-time highs right here to, you know, where we are now. You guys can clearly see that this is, in fact, a falling wedge. You guys can clearly see that, right? So it's just been going down ever since last November from its previous all-time highs. Yes, we had a few, you know, pumps every now and then, but majority of the time you guys can clearly see that we have been dropping, guys, right? So in between, um, you know, this falling wedge, okay, you guys can clearly see that we did in fact have um, two bear flags, one right there and of course one right here. And we know, right, that in a bear flag, okay, there's an 85% chance that it will you know drop and check it out right at the end towards of the bear flag right obviously you guys can clearly see right um bitcoin when it absolutely tanked right here okay it created okay another high 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 low high high and then couldn't really create another high high so obviously bitcoin dropped you know what i mean 
and then we had another small bear flag right here guys okay so it absolutely dropped you guys can clearly see that and then it could have sort of break out of it right high 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 low high 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 low and then it couldn't create another high high and then it dropped once again guys right so this always happens guys during a bear flag okay there's an 85 percent chance that it will in fact drop even more okay you still got the 15 you know you still got the 15 uh, percent chance of it pumping but it's just very low and very unlikely to happen every time we have a bear flag guys we will eventually drop okay so you guys have to understand okay in my opinion we are in fact in recession okay we have the war that's going on right now okay interest rates is rising and whatnot the whole economy right now okay it's just not looking too good at all right and that's why guys we have been dropping right we have been seeing bitcoin dropping we've seen you know the whole crypto market dropping it's not just the crypto market as well you know it's also you know the stock market that's dropping look at s p 500 that's dropping as well you know what i mean look at silver look at gold okay all these other you know investments assets and whatnot are great investments right now guys in my personal opinion we are in fact in a bear flag right now okay so in my opinion i think it's a great time to buy you know what i mean this is obviously a great time to buy guys you guys have to understand that millionaires are in fact made during um bear markets right so back to the falling wedge guys you guys can clearly see that this is in fact a 70 percent drop okay what we are seeing right now okay for bitcoin is in fact a falling wedge okay from its previous all-time highs last november to where we are now and this is in fact a 70 percent drop guys from its previous all-time high so that is in fact obviously a significant drop and guess what it's going to drop even more for the people out there that right now okay for the people out there right now that are in fact watching this video okay i know for a fact you guys are in fact invested into bitcoin on this youtube channel okay all i talk about is mainly cryptocurrency that's literally all i talk about okay because i am in fact a crypto investor myself guys right so i know for a fact everyone that's watching this video right now at least everyone i know for a fact you guys have at least invested into bitcoin or cryptocurrency right and i just want to tell you guys right now okay i'm giving guys a warning it will drop in the next few months okay most likely next year in 2023 okay it's going to get even worse guys if you guys thought that 2022 was a bad year for crypto and bitcoin just wait till 2023 arrives it's going to get even worse that's just my opinion okay personally that's just my opinion so i know for a fact bitcoin is going to drop okay so for all my bitcoin holders out there i'm warning you guys right now okay to not panic sell don't lose faith okay don't lose faith don't don't panic sell none of that right every time it drops guys okay every time we see these drops for bitcoin right do not panic guys right these drops right here do not panic i'm telling you guys right now because it will eventually drop guys right we will eventually see bitcoin maybe go back down you know all the way back down here maybe just under the support level right and if bitcoin doesn't do that and if it goes back up okay above this resistance line we will eventually see bitcoin skyrocket maybe because bitcoin has to do something really soon guys okay it's sort of in between you know the the resistance line and the support um level right here so bitcoin has to do something you know really really soon most likely in the next few weeks and of course few months but it has to do something in a few weeks time it just it just really does right because like i said we have been seeing bitcoin in between right eighteen thousand dollars to like twenty four thousand dollars for the past you know a few months right here you know what i mean so it's been sort of boring okay i can agree to that but this is how it is guys you know what i mean some days okay bitcoin won't even do anything or just consolidate and do absolutely nothing right this is completely normal so i'm telling us right now bitcoin's gonna drop even more that's just my own personal opinion and i 100 percent do believe in this okay it just has to drop even more guys you know what i mean even though yes we have dropped significantly a 70 percent drop you guys can clearly see that but bitcoin has to drop even more guys right that's just personally my opinion so i'm giving guys a little warning right now for all my bitcoin holders out there that's watching this video right now be prepared please do not panic sell don't panic sell do this okay um for long-term investments guys this is obviously not financial advice obviously okay none of my videos is financial advice i'm obviously not a you know financial advisor obviously so don't take my advice but personally guys i just would not panic sell there's no point okay most of us right now are probably most likely down from our investments okay we are down so if you sell at a loss guys then yes you obviously lost money 
But if you're down from your investments and you're still holding, you didn't lose any money because you didn't press that sell button at a loss. Okay. So there's no point pressing that sell button at a loss, guys. You guys have to understand Bitcoin will eventually, okay, ride back up. Okay. Even higher, even higher than where it was. Bitcoin, okay, in the next bull market, personally, guys, I see it going to easily over $100,000. $150,000, 100% that's going to happen, right? I just I just see huge potential for Bitcoin in the next bull market. I really do, guys. So I'm doing this, okay, for my future self. I'm doing this for long-term gains. I don't care about short-term gains. I don't care what Bitcoin is doing short-term because I know personally that Bitcoin is obviously really volatile. It goes up and down a whole bunch, okay? So I don't care what Bitcoin is doing short-term. I only care what Bitcoin does long-term, right? So that being said, guys, um, I'm personally obviously still buying some Bitcoin even during this time right now. It's not bad buying Bitcoin at this price level, $19,000 under 20K. In my opinion, it's a great buy still, especially if you're buying for long term. Buying Bitcoin at 19 k it's a great buy. It's a decent buy. I'm not going to lie. So I'm obviously still buying some Bitcoin. You know, I'm, I'm obviously still, you know, dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. And of course, Ethereum. We can't forget about Ethereum, right? I've been telling guys this many times. You know, my main investments are in fact Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, so I'm still dollar cost averaging. But guys, I'm not buying too much. I'm still saving most of my money and most of my liquid on the sidelines waiting patiently, right? I'm honestly waiting patiently for the next crash to happen when it does in fact happen right when i see bitcoin going back down you know to those really low price targets of you know seventeen thousand dollars sixteen thousand dollars fifteen thousand dollars twelve thousand dollars maybe even potentially ten thousand dollars maybe very unlikely to happen but maybe i'm buying obviously i am buying i'm not missing that opportunity i'm 100 buying and i really do believe that's going to be like the rock bottom for bitcoin's um bottom right during this bear market that we are in fact in right now so that being said guys you guys can clearly see there's not much to talk about right bitcoin is in fact still at nineteen thousand dollars ethereum is still under thirteen hundred dollars it's literally not too much to talk about right nothing is really dropping but cardano cardano actually is dropping surprisingly um and it has been dropping right so you guys can clearly see that cardano is in fact dropping um, let me just go right here and just show you guys that Cardano is in fact dropping today. Okay, it's down, um, you know, over 5%. You guys can clearly see. So Cardano is actually dropping today. You guys can clearly see that. I might actually buy some more Cardano. I like Cardano a lot. You know, I like Charles Hoskinson, you know, the creator of Cardano and whatnot. Um, he's just a really smart person. And I believe in Cardano a lot. You know what I mean? I see huge potential for Cardano in the future. So I might actually buy some today because it is in fact down 5%. Solana is down 1.6 percent dogecoin uh two percent right polka dot down uh pretty much two percent polygon three percent almost four percent so a lot of um old coins today are in fact still in the reds like what we saw yesterday okay we are still in the reds guys we're just completely fine chain link right now okay chain link is now below seven dollars just below seven dollars and is down um 3.8 percent today so Today, guys, yeah, a lot of old coins are in fact dipping, okay, but some of them are in fact in the greens, you know what I mean, just like what we saw yesterday. So, nothing really too much to talk about today for the crypto market. Um, I might actually buy some more Cardano, 37 cents, you know, that's not too shabby at all, so I might actually buy some more of that, um, but we will see. So, that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, let me know in the comments down below, where do you guys see Bitcoin heading in the next few months where do you guys see bitcoin heading next year in 2023 do you guys think bitcoin will you know perform well in 2023 personally i don't think it will you know what i mean you guys have to understand this different you know cycles this right in a bull market and a bear market right so we're gonna be in this bear market for a couple more years personally just as me which is great it gives us all a opportunity to buy to accumulate during this time Okay, this is obviously the time to buy, guys. For all the people that are, in fact, you know, asking yourselves or asking the question, when should I buy some Bitcoin? This is the time to do it. You know what I mean? We are, in fact, in a bear market, right? Bitcoin has obviously been dropping a lot, like what I showed you guys, okay? So, that being said, guys, okay, right now, I'm still buying. And, of course, I am hodling, right? I am 
hodling guys okay so i'm still holding all my investments okay i haven't sold any of my bitcoins i haven't sold any of my Ethereum, and most of my investments that i invested into cryptocurrency i have not sold the only profits i really took out of was dogecoin and shiba inu the meme coins right so that being said guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this one here hope you guys all enjoyed this video please give, go down below right now give this video a huge thumbs up let's see how many likes we can get and of course subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already let's get to 3,000 subscribers i really would appreciate that and i guess i'll catch you guys all in my next video have a good one guys